Hello Mech Warriors, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Mech Warrior Online, where we are playing the Nightgear. Nightgear is a very sluggish heavy mech, but it has a lot of tonnage to work with, and I wanted to play some Gauss shenanigans today, so that's what we are doing. We are taking the Nightgear D, and that's because it has a center torso energy hardpoint. We are using four ER medium lasers as backup weapons, and then, as you can see, two Gauss rifles on the arms. The interesting thing about the Nightgear is, is that it has six, uh, actually it is four jump jets, which makes the thing, vertically speaking, relatively mobile, but it has only a 300 rated XL engine, and the acceleration is really bad, so it only runs 64.8 kph and is really sluggish to actually to get it moving. So, Stay a little bit away from the enemies, try to not necessarily brawl if you don't have to, and uh, yeah, try to use your range here, because getting into and out of position uh, quickly is really hard. We got a targeting computer, a bunch of heat sinks, as well as ammo, and that's basically the build, so very straightforward. It is worth noting that I have not mastered the mech at all. We have 17 out of 91 skills unlocked, and I'm currently in the process of getting down here, getting the cooldown notes. I want all of them. Heat gen is not necessarily a thing, but I want the cooldown and then I want a magazine capacity, both of it. This one here and this one here. So get that and you have a good time being able to shoot often. And if you don't have it, it's really hard sometimes to get a nice rate of fire out to the battlefield because your recharge time is quite long. We have no survivability, but that's also a thing that I would max out because, as I was saying, the mech is sluggish and sometimes you just gotta take the hits. Also, Gauss rifles can explode. And if they are, then you have a bad time, so try to avoid that by having more armor and structure there. We don't need any operations, but I want radar deprivation as well as one point in the auxiliary slot here. That is a UAV and an artillery strike. You don't need cool shots because the mech is cold and uh, you don't need to go any further down. You can go for a double UAV, double artillery strike if you want, but I'm gonna go just with that. And now I'm in the, in the process of maxing out my cooldown, getting magazine capacity, and afterwards I would max out survivability. That's how I would go about it. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications when I'm getting another video released. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold and we are playing uh, Domination. Let's go. This is Assault Mech class speed that we are having here. 64 kph is not the fastest and this mech feels so, so sluggish. So let's try to actually go for the guys who are quite big. And let's not stick around with the other guys who might abandon us and then run away. So, yeah, I want to hide within my Assault Mech lands and we're going to shoot enemies at long range, ideally. And that's the battle plan. So let's try to find a target or two. Man, I am I'm so, so eager to shoot things. So we're gonna jump, and we're gonna see if we can see somebody. It doesn't seem like it, so we're gonna try to get a soft landing, which we did again. Look at all these atlases, look at all these annihilators. All right, that's so cool. So, we're gonna get here on the high ground with a nice jump. Still don't see anything. Where exactly? There's a light mech behind us, dude. Okay, I couldn't hit him. I am not gonna shoot anything. I, uh, I accept, uh, I accept, I assume that there's somebody there. But okay, let's go ahead and shoot that mad cat a bit. All right, oh my god, they are pushing them really hard. Into the Kodiak then. You know what, that's okay, that's okay for me. We can also jump that. Getting a bit of a, a, bit of a better uh, angle here. I don't know if I hit that or if my jump jet jitter was too much there. There's a flea. Kinda want to get that flea, honestly. Let's see if he's coming out again. He might be stealth, he might not be. Let's go for the Mad Cat. Yet again. Oh, they want to make a push happen! That's gonna be... Yeah, that's gonna be the kill here. Okay, and we're gonna drop that. It was too risky to stay on the front line there. So, that push is gonna get flanked now. Let's go. Ooh, twisting. Getting that guy. And here we are on their flank. I'm gonna go for the Supernova. Can we get a headshot? Probably not. No, it's fine. So these guys up there are so busy. I'm also getting shot in the arm, but that's just a flea. Okay, component destroyed. Perfect. It's a 3 and 0 situation. Their push was very brave, I gotta say. Hello? Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's the, there's the sniper. Found him. Found him. I'm a little bit uncomfortable in this situation here, so we're gonna just make a jump shot. 
Okay, like that. You got one coming up behind you. Target. Yeah, where exactly? I don't know. I don't know. I can also not move anymore because I'm kind of blocked by these little bit of ramps here. It's a five in one situation and I want to be in the five. So let's get yeah, Just get where we want to be. Let's go for the Banshee. Who's kind of getting us critical. Oh my god. That's scary. That got that side also. Alright, and here's the Banshee once more. But we don't have a line of sight, so we won't get it. It's really cool that you can trace with your lasers like that and then just follow up with the gal shot. That's a kill. Very good. And we got the top. That's cool. Let me see if I can find the Banshee again. Or maybe we can add that guy there. It's an Uziel. Okay, that's interesting. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Ah, I hit him. <laughs> I actually hit him. But it's time to go because that Snuff Nose PPC is gonna wreck me. Yeah, he got my torso. It's fair enough. That's fair enough. This is a situation where we are just... Oh, where we are just not doing anything anymore because our Gauss ammo, the last bits of Gauss ammo, have been destroyed. So it is okay if he's getting the kill there, honestly. I tried to be aggressive to just wrap it up and as a result, I was one of the main targets for them. Alrighty. So it's 11 and 3. This mech is so slow and so sluggish, but it can really pump out some long-range damage there. 12 and 3. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. So, that was HPG Manifold, a very structured map, and a lot of times we weren't really able to continuously shoot at our enemies because they were kind of in cover, and, um, you know, that, that was a problem. Maybe we can get a longer range map where we can engage a bit earlier and deal a bit more damage over time. But 600 is actually quite respectable with 5 components destroyed and 400 taken, 1 killing blow, 11 assists, and that was the first round. So let's get over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing the Tourmaline Desert and we are playing Skirmish. So let's be aware where the enemies are coming from. I do believe they are coming from like, like this area here, like right in front of us. So there's a guy, I can hit him. If I hit him, then I hit him. Yeah, cool, we hit him. So that's, that's good. That, that's damage. That's damage we dealt. So let's try to do that again. Yep, that works. We're just trying to stay out of their nominal, nominal range and we are trying to use our nominal range in... That shouldn't have been released. I have a problem, Doctor. I have a severe cause of premature Gauss release. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Gauss discharge, maybe. Let's get the Warhawk. He seems to be alone here. Okay, I'm on the Warhawk on Delta. Uh, wow, well, this is really good for us because he has no clue that we are here. I don't know why I'm shooting his arm. Maybe because I thought I could hit his side also like, once more. Alright, center torso, destroy! Perfect. So this guy was a little bit off position there. 700 meters, I could have actually shot my lasers and dealt some damage too. I mean, why not? Wow, nice. That Atlas is getting peppered with the Gausses. He seems to be alone. Can I hit him again? That was the, the mountain here. Anyway, that's a target. That's also one. Ooh, headshot! Oh, oh, oh baby! Alright, alright, alright. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay, that was that was a hunchback kill. Sorry, buddy. That was very mean. Okay, component destroy. I need to make sure that I have an escape path to the low ground. Oh yeah, this is where I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. Whoop. Oh no! Ah, so close. <laughs> so so close. Yeah, let's uh, try to stay in the fight, but also try to cool down a bit. Let's jump once more. Okay, nothing good here. Nothing good to shoot. Alright, I need my jump jets to fall again so we can get on the high ground once more. Let's go! Let's do it! So, we are on the high ground, but where's, where's, my, where's my foe? Where's my enemy? Where's the stuff that I want to shoot here? Other than this dude. I think I got shot from the center. Oh, hello! Hello, good sir. You're dead. Good. Got it. Six and three. I don't like this. No, no, no. Me no like. Uh-oh. I need to drop down here if I try to... If I want to try to live. Want to try to. That's the, that's the point here. Nice. Another one down. <laughs> Alright, seven and three. This looks very good. We were not dealing that much damage here, guys. That was like a 400 damage game so far. Um, however, we were super efficient with what we did. So let's try to get on the high ground somewhere. God, this is so scary. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's go. Hello, Banshee. What's your battle plan? Your battle plan is killing me. I see. <laughs> that was bad. That was a misplay. 
<laughs> it was. I could have stayed alive, but I didn't think I need to. Here's the thing. I was like, we are going to center now, right? And then we didn't go to center. <laughs> Holy crap. No, my people are chasing light makes. Why? No, 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 no. Guys, there are bigger, there's bigger fish to catch. There are bigger targets to destroy. Oh no, we are screwing it over. I was misreading my teammates. I was like, sure, we go in. We're gonna kill now together. This is where we wrap it up. And no, it is not. This is where we die. Because we are not focused at all. Everybody is playing their own fights and fighting their own games. And that is how we lose the game. Oh boy, that's the throw. Oh no. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So I hope you have learned something today. Don't go in too eagerly when you are in a, in a kind of a role, when you're kind of doing things, when you are actually successful, and you think, yeah, let's keep that going. And, and then there's no follow-up and you die. Oh my freaking god, we are actually losing this. Oh no. Oh no, what do we have? We have a Vulcan which is about to die. This flea! This flea! Up there! One, the enemy, the game. Single-handedly by just being a nuisance and a pain in the butt. And that is how they won. They distracted my teammates that I thought would follow up to the center, and that's it. That's how we lost, I guess. <laughs> Whoa. It was really good early on, and then it, the, the whole cohesion fell apart. We got three killing blows, though. We got a headshot. That was pretty good. We got uh, three assists, one kill, most damage dealt, 527 damage done, 372 taken, as well as six components destroyed. That was my daily dose for today for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.